and breaking news coming in now. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres con has condemned the launch of a ballistic missile of intercontinental range by North Korea, urging it to resume denuclearization talks, according to the statement released by the spokesperson for the UN chief. I quote, the Secretary General reiterates his calls on the DPRK to immediately desist from taking any further provocative action and to fully comply with its international obligations under all relevant Security Council resolutions. He is deeply concerned about the tension on the Korean Peninsula and troubled by the increase in confrontational rhetoric, the statement reads. And so the UN chief, Antonio Guterres, condemning the latest ballistic missile, the latest missile launches by North Korea. It's an intercontinental missile that North Korea has launched, raising alarm bells across the region. Now, the UN chief has not only condemned its recent launches, but has also appealed that uh, North Korea resume denuclearization talks. It's a ballistic missile, the latest in a series of ballistic missiles that have been launched by North Korea and it's a ballistic missile of intercontinental range. Now, the United Nations chief, Antonio Guterres, appealing that North Korea resume denuclearization talks. And this uh, breaking news coming in on a statement released by the spokesperson for the United Nations chief. Early on Thursday, it had been reported that Pyongyang had fired an unknown ballistic missile on the Sea of Japan. And United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres has condemned the latest launch which is part of a series of launches of long-range missiles. The latest what took place on Thursday and it was reported that Pyongyang had fired an unknown ballistic missile on the Sea of Japan. For some time now, North Korea has been launching a series of uh, missiles. And uh, Major General KK Sinha on the phone line. Major General, how do you look at this latest development? It appears that for the first time it would appear uh, for, uh, for most laymen, we find the UN chief uh, speaking to North Korea, speaking, you know, uh, that uh, there should be denuclearization talks. Uh, yeah, this is a very, uh, you know, uh, very serious development which has taken place in, uh, is taking place in uh, Korean Peninsula. If you see the North Korea and South Korea, it is, uh, you know, it is the 38th parallel on which, uh, you know, North Korea is the first time they were, you know, they have um, actually, you know, um, um, fired missiles. They have, you know, in this side of 38 parallel, which has happened after 1953. North Korea and South Korea was under the war from 1950 to 53. And after so many years, it has happened when the North Korea has fired number of missiles into the in, uh, exclusive zone demilitarized zone of South Korea. Uh, there is a, you know, the line on which is called tactical, you know, a limit line on which they have done it. Yesterday, there were 180, you know, fighter jets that was also scrambled by the North Korea in retaliation. 80 fighter jets of the South Korea was also came in, uh, in retaliation. So this is happening, very, very serious concern. Now, yesterday, for yesterday, when it happened, there was one ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, which was misfired, uh, most probably misfired and fallen into, you know, the areas, actually an area of concern into the uh, in, in the eastern, uh, you know, eastern China Sea. So these things, you know, that's why if you see the Butras Ghali, who, uh, the General Secretary of the United Nations Security Council, uh, United Nations, uh, he has now saying that the South, uh, you know, North Korea should take the precautions and North Korea should not, um, you know, carry on with the program of their missile program on which 
they are trying to acquire the nuclear know-how and ICBM capability. So there should be a talk, and this talk uh, should take place the way it was done in 2018, when the North Korea and South Korea have, you know, they agreed that they will not carry out nuclearization of the peninsula, and it was carrying on. But now this is a new violation. Uh, this is violated because what is happening in the Indo-Pacific is, 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 is a major concern in the Indo-Pacific area. The way the North Korea, South Korea, Japan, and North Korea have not only that, you know, last you know, few months, they have been escalated this. They have fired a number of missiles over the Japan and in the exclusive, uh, you know, economic zone, and that is uh, in the uh, territorial water of Japan also. So, uh, all these things are happening, and uh, there is also an uh, angle to this that you know, United States and South Korea is carrying out, you know, first time exercise, you know, which is very, very, you know, serious in nature. A number of aircraft and very dangerous maneuver. North Korea feels that that probably these are the rehearsals for actually launch of something major by, you know, South and you know, South Korea. In in uh, in connection with the uh, United States of America, so these right. developments are very serious right. and happening. Right, after right. So Major General K K Sinha, as you very correctly pointed out, perhaps. Uh, well, can we can clearly say that the UN chief's condemnation and echo of most countries in the Indo-Pacific, as uh, North Korea is uh, said to have launched an intercontinental ballistic missile on Thursday into the Sea of Japan. It's an unknown ballistic missile. The UN chief urging for denuclearization talks now. North Korea's uh, series of ballistic missile launches uh, into uh, the Sea of Japan. Well, major concern for countries in the Indo-Pacific. Now the UN chief has called for denuclearization talks. We'll have to wait and watch how the North responds to that. Meanwhile, that's all we have for you in this edition of World This Morning. Coming up next in the Morning Express, Delhi chokes, double burns, but politics is on. Bihar Deputy CM Tejasvi Yadav now wades into the row. Also coming up, Prime Minister Narendra Modi to visit Himachal Pradesh today to campaign for BJP candidates for the upcoming Assembly polls.